Lovely to see you all, <laughs> as always. <laughs> yeah, and today we felt like a very peaceful session together to really join in the purpose of why we're doing all of this. Um, and one of, the, one of the themes that have been coming up is gentleness, to really remember to be gentle, to be loving, to be kind. And um, when I think about that, it's not really about a personal self. It's about letting go of the personal self and letting that gentleness come through, the love come through, that goes beyond all of this identity. Um, <clears throat> and often I can see that I'm not gentle with myself. So it's not something that I was really taught really, it's not really a word in my vocabulary that is, um, I would see myself as being gentle or even knowing what that means. And so today we want to dive deeper into that together in a really, really meditative session into the stillness. Um, and that was what was really inspiring and it was kind of interesting because Anna found all these really beautiful quotes and um, readings from the course. And normally I have, I have so much to, to bring um, from the course because I love reading the course, but yet there was some sort of block there for me. And so Anna was really enjoying um, bringing this forth. Um, and so we're really inviting everybody just to, just to be in that gentleness, just to be in that relaxed state. Yeah, it feels really beautiful because it feels like it's a time for a lot of changes and a time where it's this moment where our prayer needs to be very strong and just be gentle with ourselves through all of this process. And I can feel that for myself. And I know this session is just for me to be able to drop into that deeper trust and that I'm being carried I love and that I'm being carried what, for what it's best for me and for the whole. Mm. And that's really beautiful. That's what helped me take the steps every time. Like I know it's for the good and there's nothing that can come my way that isn't for my good or for the healing and releasing. And yeah, today we want to invite you into this beautiful prayer. This will be like a guided meditation and you'll see that it's just like a sequence of all these quotes where Jesus is just saying only love is surrounding you and only that is true. So it just feels really beautiful in my heart to be able mm. to share this with you mm. too. Mm. Yeah, so we just encourage everybody to look into their minds because we can't just say that we want love, that there are a lot of blocks to the love's awareness. As Jesus teaches, in actual fact, that is the best use of time is to continuously look at our minds and see what's happening there. And so this feels like a really deep prayer for everyone to come into that. It's just really think about what is it that's stopping me right now? There might be a grievance with yourself, with somebody, a situation that feels unresolved in you, something about your identity what you believe in that's been stuck for some time. And so in these joinings, really, this is the only reason why we come together, to let all of this go. And this can be done in this very moment, this very instant. It's not, we're not waiting and lingering in time. That's what the holy instant's all about, letting go of everything and just remembering our Christ mind. Um, so we can just take a minute just to really allow yourself to really think about that. And if there's nothing there, we don't have to dig into it. If you're feeling in a really peaceful space, then just really stay with that and, and, and enjoy that. And if there is something coming to mind, just allow that to come up, to be handed over to the Holy Spirit to help us remember. Yeah, we want to join in this beautiful prayer together. Thank you so much. So, I, for me, I can just say that is 
falling into a deeper trust. Mm. So that's my prayer. Thank mm. you. Mm. Yeah, mm. you can get in touch with that that feeling that needs to be handed over, as mm. you said. Mm. I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just think about what it is that needs to be let go of. Because that's all we're doing all the time, is just keep letting go. And I can see the opposite of that for me is like control. Like I'm going to be controlled or out of control, things are out of my control. And it's always like trying to maintain this small self that's hopefully going to um, help me. Um, so I won't be seen as being weak or not good enough. Um, and I want to, yeah, the same as you, I, I want to trust that there's something much, much more other than this self-identity that I keep um, clinging to. Yeah. And this is what The Course in Miracles is always pointing us to. It's not a self-help book. It's not trying to gain a better self. It may seem like that that is happening, but in actual fact it's dissolving this whole self-identity and that's where my interest always lies is this really me who is telling me this about myself um, so we have this beautiful part from the course so I, I just picked it out now and I'd like to read it to everybody to, to begin of what this actually all really means and it's in the manual for teachers and it's in the um, section characteristics of the teachers of god that's right and it's actually joy joy is inevitable is an is the inevitable result of gentleness gentleness means that fear is now impossible and what could come to interfere with joy the open hands of gentleness are always filled the gentle have no pain, they cannot suffer. Why would, they, why would they not be joyous? They are sure they are beloved and must be safe. Joy goes with gentleness as surely as grief attends attack. God's teachers trust in him and they are sure his teacher goes before them, making sure no harm can come to them. They hold his gifts and follow in his way because God's voice directs them in all things. Joy is their song of thanks. And Christ looks down on them in thanks as well. His need of them is just as great as theirs of him. How joyous it is to share the purpose of salvation. Mm. Yeah, I just love that, that, that the real joy comes from when we're not fearful anymore. And that's the thing that we do feel, we do feel fearful. And there are things that we want to see inside of ourselves so we don't feel fearful anymore. And that's where the joy comes from. So that's what I wish for myself and everyone today. I can't just see like how beautiful this is. This is just a complete surrendering. And for me, I just feel like that. It's just happening right now. Yeah, it can, this prayer can only come from this place. Mm. Just surrendering and mm. just letting it go and just allowing the love to come in. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's all we're doing. There's really nothing to do. And that's what we wanted this session to be about. But really, there's nothing that we can do except offer up our prayers. Yeah, this is like our time to 
really get strong in mm. our prayer. Yeah, not deep this commitment. Is deepening in our commitment, deepening in our trust, and and in this prayer, really, mm. as you were reading this morning, mm. prayer is the medium for miracles, mm. and through prayers, love. How is it? Through prayer, love is received. Mm. And yeah. Love is given. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And through miracles, love is received. Received. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what we're entitled to. And that's what we must remember that we are entitled to these miracles. Yeah. So we wanna join together with you now, in this miracle. Mm -hmm. Join with you in this prayer. Join mm. with you through this, whatever that, whatever we need to hand over, whatever mm. we need to give over. This is our time. Mm. Just rest in the peace. Mm. Give it over, knowing that everything will come our way to show us that this is the right way. Mm. That we are being carried. That mm. miracles are lighting our way. Mm. So I would like to invite you to close your eyes to enter into this presence now. Into Christ's presence will we enter now, serenely unaware of everything except His shining light and perfect love. The vision of His face will stay with you. But there will be an instant which transcends all vision, even this, the holiest. This you will never teach, for you attained it not through learning. Yet the vision speaks of your remembrance of what you knew that instant and you will surely know again. God's blessings shine upon me from within my heart where he abides. I need but turn to him and every sorrow melts away as I accept his boundless love for me. Your friend goes with you. You are not alone. Your friend goes with you. You are not alone. No one who calls on him can call in vain. Whatever troubles you, be certain that he has the answer and will gladly give it to you. If you simply turn to Him and ask it of Him, He will not withhold all answers that you need for anything that seems to trouble you. He knows the way to solve all problems and resolve all doubts. His certainty is yours. 
you need but to ask it of him and it will be given you. The Christ in you is very still. He knows where you are going and he leads you there in gentleness and blessing all the way. His love for God replaces all the fear you thought you saw within yourself. His holiness shows you himself in him whose hand you hold and whom you lead to him. Father, you stand before me and behind, beside me, in the place I see myself and everywhere I go. You are in all the things I look upon, the sounds I hear, and every hand that reaches for my own. In you, Time disappears and place becomes a meaningless belief. For what surrounds your son and keep him safe is love itself. What surrounds your son and keeps him safe is love itself. There is no source but this, and nothing is that does not share its holiness, that stands beyond your one creation, or without the love which holds all things within itself. Father, your Son is like yourself. We come to you in your own name today to be at peace within your everlasting love I am surrounded by your love, forever still, forever gentle, and forever safe. God's Son must be as you created him. We trust our ways to him and say Amen. In peace, we will continue in his way and trust all things to him. In confidence, we wait his answers 
as we ask His will in everything we do. He loves God's Son as we would love Him. And He teaches us how to behold Him through His eyes and love Him as He does. You do not walk alone. God's angels hovered near and all about. His love surrounds you. And of this be sure that I will never leave you comfortless. We thank you, Father, that we cannot lose the memory of you and of your love. We recognise our safety and give thanks for all the gifts you have bestowed on us, for all the loving help we have received, for your eternal patience and the word which you have given us that we are saved. With this we say Amen and we just slowly open our eyes. I am so grateful for this. I am so, so grateful. <laughs> yeah, it's so important just to remember this gentleness. We are loved and we are being carried just by a stream of love. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This was just like reminding myself again of how it really is. And it isn't what I'm perceiving, it is. We are just handing over everything of that perception. I feel grateful because I felt like I just was able to let go of fear or 
lack of trust or whatever that was there and I can feel like the power, like all our minds are joined right now as one in this prayer and it feels so powerful in my heart. That's, I'm deeply grateful. Mm. Yeah, these, these moments just feel very precious that we all share together on these Sunday mornings, seeming Sunday mornings, that we get together and we, and we do this. I just feel so grateful that everybody comes to really join in this commitment and remembering the commitment that we aren't of this world and we are much more than this and that we want to remember that and we can't do that alone and that's why, that's why we really have this that's what the show is all about to release all these thoughts together yeah. to join in this holy purpose that we really have to be fulfilled in the truth. Mm. So yeah, it <laughs> always just feels like an honor to be with everybody and seeing all your commitments each each week coming here is like wow, it's just so powerful. I was actually thinking um, this week, I thought, what was it that I really like about the show? What's what's my favorite thing about the show? And I really liked when I get to see everybody on the screen and sit here and just see you all. <laughs> Mm. And it's like before there might be this little bit of nervousness and it's like in joining with you. It's like I know that I'm not on my own, that I'm not doing this, like it's not personal to me, like that I've got to do something and that we're all in this together. So I get to see you all on the screen and just really join in that purpose um, together. So it just feels so, so wonderful to really do that. Yeah, we join in the prayer together. Yeah. And that's what we want to remember all the time. We want to remember that prayer. Yeah. So this is a way to begin a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is how we want to begin our day every day. Yeah. And you know, you have this forever now because we record them and that's what I love. So if you feel that you want to share this gift with any of your friends, it will be on Facebook. <laughs> and we can continue to share the love. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for sharing this love yeah. with me yeah. and with all. I'm so grateful and thank you all. Yeah, thank you thank so you much. Thank you for joining with us in this much prayer today. Much love to you all, dear friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.